time for maths. Yesterday in maths, you were working on 2D shape. Today, what are we going to learn in maths today, Walt? Oh, I see. Today, boys and girls, we are learning to recognise 3D shapes. Thanks, Walt. 2D shapes are flat shapes, like these ones. A circle, a triangle, a rectangle and a square. They're flat and we can't pick them up or move them. 3D shapes are three dimensional. That means we can move them, we can pick them up and we can hold them. Hmm. I haven't got any of my 3D shapes at home with me. Let me have a look and see what I can find to help me. There we have it boys and girls, I've found myself some 3D shapes. This shape is called a cube. This long shape is called a cuboid. It's longer than a cube. This shape with triangles at the end is called a triangular prism. That's a tricky word, isn't it? This shape that looks like a ball has got a grown-up name. It's called a sphere. It's hard to say. Can you say sphere? Well done. This shape is a cylinder. It has two circles on either end. And this shape is a cone. A little bit like a party hat or an ice cream cone. I'm going to hold up a 3D shape. See if you can shout out what it's called. Get ready. Cylinder. Cuboid. Sphere. Cube. Cone. Triangular prism, cube, cylinder, I'm going to get faster, sphere, triangular prism, cone, cuboid. Well done everyone. Now we're going to learn a little bit more about these shapes over the next few days. But you're going to need to find some of them at home. Your challenge today is to have a look around your house and see what 3D shapes you can find. Can you find a cube? Can you find a cuboid? Can you find a triangular prism? Can you find a sphere? Can you find a cylinder? And can you find a cone? <laughs> 